the Atari 3200, Atari 3200 and Minlink, code page 324. Sylvia. And the Atari Mind Link. Like something out of the science fiction movie Brainstorm. In just a few minutes on Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Stay tuned. Hey, how's it going? Cheer lovable. Huggable. Squeezable. Kissable. And uh, drinkable. Host with lots of lots of love and sweetness galore. Back again with some more reading of the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We're in the chapter in Prototypes, folks, and we're so close to reaching the end, I could just taste it. We previously learned about the Atari 2700 and how it was a, it was a failed console trying to use utilizing remote control controls. Of course, the Atari 2600 later on utilized those. Now, we're reading page 324. We're going to learn about the Atari 3200 and a very esoteric, bizarre uh, device used supposedly to control the video game with your mind. Make sure to send some likes and love for weird, oddball, failed uh, retro gaming equipment. If you like this kind of stuff, keep watching, keep uh, liking and, and favoriting, and follow me on TikTok, Video Gamers Oasis. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, on YouTube for more content like this. And also other fun gaming content on that YouTube channel. Now on to the reading. Page 324. The Atari 3200. First paragraph. Codenamed Sylvia, this system was to be a successor of the 2600 and would have had a series of intriguing features and new technology built in, like voice synthesis, but was ultimately cancelled. Faced with a nearly obsolete 2600, Atari simply worked to repackage the technology of its computer line, a console which would eventually become the 5200 Super System. Next paragraph to the right. It had a kind of a bang and Olufsen feels to it, said industrial designer Barney Huang. Clean, flat, no protrusions, so the whole piece of plastic moved. This was all before touch pads. We all followed B and O and their style. Like with the 7800, there was this piece of metal that was machined and stamped. There was a huge cost to that. Someone would had to make it and peel it off and put it on there. And here we have a uh, high, high definition photograph of the Atari 3200 Atari System X. We see the, uh, the sleek design of the, the body and the, the push buttons. There's four push buttons on the left and four push, but push buttons on the right. And it supposedly had voice synthesis. I don't know if anyone can verify this on TikTok. And it also had two controllers. Really sleek, futuristic look to it. Atari System X on each controller and a joystick. I guess there's buttons on the side. Moving on to the lower half of page 324. We're going to learn about MindLink. Here's a close-up of the article. MindLink, another esoteric Atari controller, the MindLink was a device connected to a headband that wrapped around the forehead of the user, reportedly designed to quote unquote think the movement of objects on screen. The controller electrically measured muscle activity in the forehead, transmitting a signal to the game console via infrared remote control. In testing, users found that the device would leave them with a headache after just a few minutes of use because of the rapid brow twitching and contortions needed to control on-screen characters. The controller 
was more spectacle than substance. But admittedly, the technology need needed to be tweaked further when its development was cancelled by then owner of Atari Corp, Jack Tramiel. The device never made it out of prototype form, but materials were created for its announcement, including photo shoots and a logo designed by Tom Pelecki. So here we have an example of the mind link on a styrofoam head. It fits over the head like a headband. And supposedly your twitching of your brain or your mind, or your, your head, your forehead creates uh, control of the video game characters on the video game screen. There's a description for this photograph. It reads, as shown in this promotional photo, the Mind Link headset would have allowed users to control the game action by using their forehead muscles. How odd. Here we have a guy, a dude, young dude, uh, he's sitting in his chair wearing some blue pajamas, and he's wearing the Mind Link headset around his head. There's also some kind of um, remote control, I believe, on his left knee, controlling the game system, I, I assume, maybe not. It's a projector, and there's the game system on the television table with the television playing. I'm not sure what video game he's playing. If you know the video game, leave your comments below. And there's a little headlamp, little desk lamp neck on the right side of the television. It's a stereo television, by the way. There's stereo, stereo speakers on each side of the television. So if you have either one of these equipments, the uh, Atari 3200 or the Mind Link, leave your comments below. Leave your videos on TikTok if, if you're playing these rare, these rare abandoned uh, pro uh, video game projects. I'd like to see it being used, if possible. And there you have it. That was our that was another chapter, or another section of the chapter prototypes. We were learning about the Atari 3200 and the Mind Link on page. 322, 24, pardon me. If you have any of these uh, equipments, leave your comments, leave your videos. I want to see them in action if possible. I know these, pop, these equipments are probably locked up in a gigantic uh, warehouse in a wood crate next to the um, Ark of the Covenant. But just in case anyone has these, uh, these devices, uh, access to them, make some videos of you playing it. I'll send some likes and loves your way. That's all the time we have for this video. Tune in next time. Next video, we're going to learn about some more uh, abandoned equipment projects. We're going to learn about the voice controller for the Atari. I hope you'll join me for that. That'll be a fun ride. You know, retro Atari games controlled by your voice. That will be on page 325. Send some likes and loves for retro gaming. I do appreciate your feedback. I do appreciate your likes and, and favorites. I know some people, not mentioning names, are getting a little bit annoyed with the Atari content. I just want to reassure you, we're nearing the end of this book. And uh, after I read this book, I'm going to move on to some other game topic. Okay? So I'll try not to, uh, just try not to lose your temper. We're going to get through this together. And if you don't like to watch this, just watch something else to distract your mind. And come back maybe a month later and I should be over. I should be on to something uh, maybe more you're liking. Uh, subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube for more content on there as well. And take a break from the computer. Do some physical fitness. Any kind of fitness is great. Physical jogging, push-ups, sit-ups, barbells, you know, uh, anything like that. I've got my barbell here just in case you want. Wondering if I'm just talking out of my ass without uh, doing anything. I have a barbell here, so sometimes I like to take a take a break from my computer uh, when I'm doing computer work or gaming, and lift the barbell up. Helps uh, get my arms muscled up. So I hope you will be too. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay physically fit. Take time to meditate, and may you find peace within. Bye for now.